peeps. It's me, the Queen Bee, coming back at you with another fabulous project. It's not a wreath. It's my Christmas tree. Yeah, I thought I would share a little bit with you how I decorate my tree. Every year it is different. Um, yes, the decorations are the same, but it is put up in a different way. And what I mean by that is that I don't necessarily um, create the same um, look with the tree. So this year, um, I'm doing a whimsical um, look with this tree. This is my memory tree. Uh, every ornament or everything, it's not necessarily an ornament, that my children uh, made for me through the years, I put on this tree. Um, it could have been just, a, you know, a drawing that they made in school. I kept all those things. They weren't necessarily Christmas ornaments, but again, um, I used them for my tree. And um, so to get started, you have your tree. Now I choose to use... Um, an artificial tree because the branches are sturdier and can hold all of the um, ornaments that I put on and I load the tree up. Um, so I'm using a um, eight foot um, artificial tree. It's pre-lit. Um, if it wasn't pre-lit, I would uh, have wrapped the lights on myself I don't just go around and around the tree. I actually wrap um, professionally um, the branches. But this one is pre-lit. I have fluffed it. And that means you just uh, take the branches and make sure that they are, you know, in a position that they look real, not squished. You gotta fluff your trees. And um, and I start from the top and work my way down. Um, from the top, I decide what my topper is going to be this year. It's an elf hat. I've had angels. I've had um, giraffes. I've had bears. I've had um, Santa. I've had stars. It just depends on what kind of mood I am for this Christmas. So this year it is the elf hat. Um, and then I just treat my tree like I treat my wreaths. I get inspired as I'm creating. And I find some things that aren't necessarily what someone else would put in a Christmas tree. Um, so that I can create these fabulous um, looks. So this is um, a uh, pick, um, a floral that I found. It's actually, it looks like grass with sparkles on it. So I thought that would be fun to put up there. And um, that's where we're going with that. Now, you'll notice that I've also started putting in the deco mesh. And I've done this for decades. Um, where I take this deco mesh, and it's different colors depending on what theme is gonna be on the tree, but um, I fill the tree so that the spare spots and the spots where you know the cords from the lights and everything will go, are going, are getting covered. So you're basically filling the tree up with color, and then you're going to decorate um, from the inside out, top to bottom, inside out. So I'm going to add a few more of the red uh, mesh pieces. Here I am over here cutting the pieces, as you can see, and um, putting them in. So I'll get working on that and I'll come back in a few seconds. All right, moving right along. You can see I have added some more of the red mesh, the deco mesh. And 
a couple, four or five of these sparkly snowball looking things that I found interesting and um, put in the tree. Again, I treat my trees, my Christmas trees, like I do a wreath. I have an idea of what I'm going to do and a theme and then I let the tree actually inspire me as I go along and use the things that I've used for two decades um, with some new um, decorative things like this, the mesh, and um, go from there. So next on the tree is going to be the ornaments, and I have a ton of them. It's not a bad thing to load your tree with the ornaments. Don't be afraid to actually put ornaments inside the branches in here. And then, like I said, from the inside, you work your way out. You can even put big, giant pieces um, ornaments inside the tree um, and then your smaller ones on the outside and at the same time you can have tiny little ones inside and some of your big ones on the outside it's just you know however you feel like um, doing that but don't be afraid to load the tree up and put ornaments inside okay so let's get started Okay, here's just one of several boxes I have of ornaments that I have collected over the years. Um, like I said, everything that my children made me that um, could be used as an ornament or even just drawings and things, I have those as well. They go in the tree. But also, um, every single place that I have visited in the world... I bought an ornament from, and I know exactly where I got them, when I got them, and the special meaning of each one. And when I am unboxing and doing these, um, looking at these ornaments and putting them on the tree, it's like taking a trip down memory lane. Um, and the tree becomes this beautiful living piece of art with so many memories. Snowmen that I had made to represent each one of my sons. I have three sons. My son, Nicholas, who is now 34 years old. So you know how old this ornament is he made me. I believe he was in the second grade, so that made him seven years old. This is my granddaughter, Bobby. She made me one. My daughter, First grade, 1989. She is now 37 years old. This was not meant to be an ornament, but folks, you can keep these things and create a magnificent tree. There's my son Nicholas again. Um, with things that weren't meant to be an ornament. Look at this. That's my youngest son, Krisha, the baby in first grade. So this was 21 years ago, because he is now 27. I stick it in my tree, my friends. Um, again, very special. So I'm gonna start doing all that good stuff and it's hard for me to videotape myself doing the actual decorations. Um, so I'll come back and forth um, as I do some so that you could see the progression. Moving right along, I am slowly but surely filling the tree with my treasures. As you can see, I put a stuffed angel. She is actually in the tree, um, peering out. A lot of these are not, like I said, not ornaments. Not intended to be ornaments, but I make them. So I'm going to continue loading the tree. One bit of advice for heavy ornaments like this one. He might not look heavy, but this little Santa with the Eiffel Tower from my trip to Paris, he is very heavy. For the heavy ornaments, 
put them closer to the back of the branch, not on the tip, because that's not going to hold the tips. It's much sturdier back here. Okay, moving right along with the Christmas tree. I have gotten all of the treasures that I am going to put in this tree this year loaded in. And there are a bunch of fabulous and very special and dear pieces in here. Now, I do not have all of my treasures in here. Like I said, every year the tree is different. But I have a lot of them in here. And it's beautiful. So now what I'm doing is I'm going in and, you know, people will put, um, um, you know, the tinsel garlands around the tree. Um, I usually put... Um, like floral picks in there. But um, this year I'm gonna do the deco mesh around the tree and um, put that in there strategically. So you just wind it around, tuck it in branches. Of course your ornaments are already on there so you're gonna want to Make sure you maneuver around those. And some might say, well, why didn't you put that on first and the ornaments on last? Well, no, I have to set my ornaments first. Um, and then I could always manipulate it around whatever um, added decorative I'm going to put around the tree. So I will do that and come back and video what it looks like. Now that the geo mesh has been put on, and by the way, this this geo mesh that I used is ten and a half inches wide. Um, what I'm doing now is going in and popping some curls um, with the other colors of geo mesh to tie the tree together. I have that lime green and I have that pearlescent white. And there are two different sizes as well. I've cut several pieces. There is the, the what is that? Oh, 18 inches um, in length or width actually. And then these are the five and a half inch. So I've cut pieces from both, and I'm going to try and show you. So you roll into a tube. Same thing I do with wreaths. And then I fold it in half, and I find a spot to put it in. When you're decorating your tree, think of a triangle. You have one here, and then I have one here. So let's make a triangle. This one is going opposite, upside down, so the point will be here. So you see I've made a triangle here to here to here, right? So then I'm gonna come over here, and now we have this, this, so we'll put another green right here. Roll it up. Ta-da! Triangle, bottom, other corner, point, right in here. These I'm allowing to stick out of the tree. Triangle, triangle, triangle. So now we have a triangle actually going right here too. So we'll need another one. Dump, dump around right here. Then add the whites. The white, um, which is the five and a half, I'm not doing in a tube. I'm sort of pulling them out like so. 
and sticking them in like this. In like this. And again, they're going to be sticking out of the tree. It's like making wreaths, but with your Christmas tree. So I'll continue doing that, and I'll be right back. As I like to say, ta-da! So there we have the tree. The memory tree is done. Loaded up. The deco mesh in there makes for a beautiful softening of the tree. And it just brings everything together. The theme of this year's tree is whimsy, happiness, joyfulness, and a little bit of magic and beauty. Now I'm going to set up Mr. and Mrs. Claus over there and um, hide the cords because that's another secret. You do not see cords um, in my decorating. There will be no cords showing. If you look around, no cords are visible. Um, this is actually lit too. I just don't have it on because it's not quite Christmas time yet. Hold on. I'll turn it on. There we go. I turned it on. And as you can see, you don't see cords hanging. It's just tacky. You have to hide them, strategically hide them. And yes, these are all plugged in. This village has got cords galore and they are hidden. There's Mr. and Mrs. Claus, Santa and his wife and their gorilla friend. And you notice that it's sitting, they're sitting on a Home Depot box. Well, my friends, this is when you get creative and you cover it. So that's what I'm doing next. There it is, the finished product. There we go. See, I have covered that box with a green tablecloth and then I put the buffalo snow on it. Buffalo snow softens everything. At Christmas time it makes everything um, come together and it softens edges and makes the magic even better. Here's the tree finished, the department 56. North Pole Village, finished. There's Cycling Santa. Notice the buffalo snow there to soften and to make it look put together. The mantle is done. So cute. There we go. There's that. And it's all finished. There's the railings. And that's it. Oh yeah, there's the kitchen. There's the dining table. You notice more snow. That's the way to go. Snow is the way to go. And I have some Department 56 pieces in here as well, but that's how this goes. I hope these tips help you get your Christmas magical and happy and joyful. Remember, snow is the way to go. Talk to you all later.